Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samux Code. In this video guys, we're going to explore and extend the capability of our table view. So we have here the basic application from the previous tutorial. We have created a simple project that displays all the employees that we have added in our list. Now, there are cases that we want to add rows to this by clicking a button. So for example, we have here add employee button and it should um, append a row in this particular table view so we could do that and I'm going to show you how to do that exactly in this particular video and of course guys there are cases also that you want to double click this particular row and then it should display the information that you have selected from our table view so that's what we are going to do here this particular tutorial so now let's start modifying our project so I'm just going to close this and open up my uh, main.fxml file into, you know, scene builder. And I have here the layout from the previous tutorial. So I'm just going to resize this. And then I'm going to add a button right here that, you know, that will enable us to add a row in this particular table view. So we have to use the button element or component here and then I'm just going to resize this and then say for example we should say add employee okay and then I'm going to set the on action event to this and of course the FX ID so for example VT and add and on action for example add employee Right there and we could also do guys so for example we want to display the information of the selected row so we could add a label here just below the button so we have here label okay and then it should you know contain all the information like for example the ID, the first name, the last name, the age of the selected item inside this table view. So I'm just going to set the FX ID so this will be label info. Okay, Label info, I'm just going to save this and then go back to our NetBeans IDE, right click our main.fxml and update our um, controller. So we have here the VTN add and label info and of course the add employee uh, method okay so what we can do here guys if you want to add multiple or you know rows to your table view so all you have to do is get the instance of your table view right here and then you can say get items and then you could call the method add and of course you need to specify the type of data that you want to add and of course in this particular example we're setting the, the table view data to our employee right so we need to specify here new employee and then of course the constructor requires four parameters for our age i mean id for example six and then um the first name for example, Kobe, and then the last name is Bryant, and um, the age, for example, is 41. And of course, guys, um, we're getting an error here. Incompatible um, types, employee cannot be converted to observable list. So, what we can do here is um, we should call first the items of this particular um, table view so get items and then um, add okay so table view get items and then add new employee and then the id and name and of course the age okay right there and it should um i think we're we're editing the wrong line 
So set items first. I think we could, you know, just copy and paste this part right here. Get items, add, and then new employee. Okay, and then table view, this should be set items. And then the list, okay? So it's going to display the default or the all the contents of our list, which is right here. And then whenever we click on the VPN add um, employee, then it should append a new row in our table view, okay? Another thing that we could add into our table is, so for example, the click or double click a certain row, it should display the information um, that we have clicked. So what we can do here is add a mouse click event to our table. And then we could find the mouse click below. So mouse click, where is it? Mouse click, mouse click, mouse click right there. So where is it? There we go. So uh, we could name our method as mouse click. So enter and then save our main.fsml file and then update. Okay, so it should add the mouse click event right here. And then inside here, we can count the number of, you know, count the number of um, click event or number of clicks. We could check if event dot get click count um, greater than one, of course. So you could add open and close curly braces right here. And then you could, um, you know, define a new method right here. For example, uh, on display or on click or something. So on click. Okay. And then, of course, we need to create this method right here. Create a method. And it's, uh, we should remove this for now. And then inside here, we can say if table uh, view that get selection mode in, and then get selected item or items or item. Get selected item is not equal to none, so we're just basically checking if the user selected uh, an actual, you know, row inside our table view. And then in here, we can say employee and then selected employee and equals table view, then get selection modern. And then get selected item. Get selected item. Close this. Okay. And then in here, we could set the text into our label. For example, we have added the label info. So we can say here label info that set text. And then, of course, we could use the uh, employee object and then um, get for example you are concerned with the first name but we could always um, get also the last name so get first name and get last name okay so let's try this save our file and then we need to clean and build our application just to make sure that the, that the changes will be reflected and run our project anew. And then here, you could say that, uh, you can see that we have here the table and of course the button. So if you try to click on this, it should display a new row right there, right? And of course, if you want to click on this, double click on this, so it should display 
the um, first name and last name of the selected uh, element or row. Okay, so that's how you can select the information coming from the table view and that's how you can add rows to your table view also. So if you have questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And once again, guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.